Oh. Hey, it's Sebastian, the son of Arizona Ron from Tucson. It's a biggie lyric. You know what? Fuck this. I'm too cool for that. White lies, lying, fibbers, tall tales, liars. We all done it. From making our partners feel better to throwing someone under the bus just to get where we want. You know you've done it. It's not completely good, but it's also not terribly bad. But I have been noticing this year how much we've been lied to. From cover-ups, propaganda, to beating the shit out of a loved one in a hotel hallway, and paying security $50,000 to get the footage for you, and then calling that person a liar once they sue you. And then when the video gets released, oh, now you're sorry. Bullshit. It's because you got caught in 480p. And yeah, I lied too when I said I was going to leave Diddy alone. I can't help it. It's like a drug. I've tried my best to be honest, especially to my family. Shit, I like to keep to myself a little bit more. What I really want to dig into is the, the powerful liars, the really good ones, the ones that scare the shit out of me. They can convince you that the sky is orange and it's all your fault because you never believe them. Kind of sounds abusive. I was raised to fear my mama. She was the leader, the glue that held the house together. But people who lie and are good at it, that they conjure up falsehoods that blend so perfectly with reality or truth. Some of them will never have to work a day in their life. Sugar babies can have three or more poor souls make them think they are the one. But if you snatch their phone, go through it, call them out, that's when the claws come out. Yelling at you. How dare you think I would cheat on you? That's my cousin. He sends me dick pics as a joke. He's quirky like that. <laughs> also, baby, I'm sad that you don't love me. You need to make it up to me, motherfucker. Buy me something. Gucci, Prada, now. There is also stupid liars. I can remember I had a coworker who every Saturday would go to Mexico, but then call out on Sunday, and without a misstep, they would say, oh, my family member died. Again? But no one ever questioned it because all the managers were her friends, so... Fuck me, right? Lying is like a spider web. Eventually, you'll get caught in it. Some people live their whole lives as a lie. And that's why social media sometimes can suck. We see what they want us to see. Like a digital mask. You think it's all good and dandy, but... Hello, welcome to my vlog. Let's see how today goes. But behind the scenes, it's all falling apart. What you looking at? I feel it's too... A matrix of lies, a false reality. It's bullshit. Pathological liars, wait, I mean, online influencers, well, they lie just as easy as it is for them to breathe. This unpredictability is so frightening to me because what are their true intentions? What are they trying to achieve? It's like living in a haunted house of lies where every door that you open changes shape. Stories are always changing, it's shifting back and forth. It makes you wonder where they learned it. Parents, most likely. If you're a kid and watching, first off, what the fuck are you doing? Turn this off. This isn't for you. But shit, if you're gonna watch, skip to this timestamp. You won't like what I'm about to say. Thank you, future me. I love myself. We teach kids how to lie. We lie to them about Santa, the Tooth Fairy, the Easter Bunny, R. Kelly trapped in the closet, and like he's he's trapped in a cell, with Bill Cosby, soon to be Diddy, with Jesse Smollett saying he was there too, along with those, uh, those two Trump supporters that beat his ass. Fucking liar. Prime example of a lying fuck. Telling a kid he can be president. Unless if you got a membership to Bohemian Grove, then those chances are a little bit higher. Some lies are okay so you don't hurt the person's feelings. If your partner asks if he looks fat. No, you're fat makes you look fat. What are you trying to do, be single? If you didn't like what they were wearing, I would say, hey, I'm not feeling that color. Try that. Mom, I love you, but you keep burning the cookies that you make. You're supposed to preheat the oven, wait till it's done, stick the cookies in, and you set the timer. When it dings, take them out. You're not supposed to turn on the oven, stick them in, then once it preheats, the cookies are done. No, it, it doesn't work like that. I love you, but I'm tired of eating black burnt cookies that look like Mr. Deed's foot. That shit can break teeth. Someone you know has like a scar in their face or just something that they're real self-conscious about. Tell them they look great. They need to hear that. Times like that, it's okay to lie. Don't be a piece of shit. If people stare, fuck them. Let them walk like they're America's next top model. Moving on. 
Full transparency. I am no body language expert. No shit. Or work with any crime division. I'm telling you how I usually spot a liar. One thing they do is they over explain everything down to the smallest detail. I, I didn't take your $20 bill that was in your bottom drawer in the left pocket. No, I, I, I was at work. Um, I was on, I was going down Broadway. I was driving really fast. There was a lady and uh, a blue Volvo. I can even give you the license plate. Um, I was late to work. You can ask Bob. Bob knows. No bullshit. And the stuttering. Mama said that. My mom, mama said that. My mom, my mama said. Come on, bro. What the fuck? Come on. And the whole eye contact. Depending on the person, they will stare you down. They will give you that believe me look. Yeah, you believe me, right? Like, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. I'm not breaking eye contact. You see this? You see this? We're connecting. Yeah, you see that? Mm-hmm. I'm not lying. There's some people that will look away like, I am not. I didn't do it. No. No, it wasn't, wasn't me. Mm -mm. And one more thing that really grinds my gears is the repeater. They will repeat every sentence or the last three words that you say so where were you oh where where was i uh i was at the store so you're at the store who did you see who did i see uh i saw people mm -hmm. i i this is gonna sound crazy how about you don't fucking lie let's wrap it up on this unsettling world of liars and white lies with this whole woke cancel culture i wouldn't be surprised if white lies if it was like a different color any color you can think of someone would find it offensive and they would cancel it i hate cancel culture don't even get me start you know what nope moving on like i said liars scare me they shake up the foundation of trust that holds relationships professional and personal together when the lie leaves their mouth it's like a new reality being born it gets to the point of what's real and what's fake cake. is it cake is it cake it can even cause you to question your own judgment like damn am i tripping i can't be tripping i'm probably crazy i am crazy and i and it's not like I'm scared of the lie itself. I'm scared of the possibility of betrayal, manipulation, and emotional turmoil that follows. I do acknowledge that not all lies are created equal. It's not bad to tell a white lie if you're trying to spare someone their feelings or you don't want to embarrass them because their haircut sucks, even though they like it. It's a bit extreme, isn't it? Oh, I mean, that's some reason they want your opinion, but your opinion doesn't matter. But tell them, hey, you know what? You're killing it, Slay. It will boost their fucking confidence up the roof. It's harmless if you use it every so often with good intentions. Some won't agree. Hey, it's just my opinion. Make your own. What makes lies bad or good is based on intent and impact. Lies become a problem when you deceive or manipulate or cause harm. Assholes will say to tell them the truth. If you look at them, they're probably the fucking loners because no one likes them. In certain instances, I will give it to my friends straight. The truth will hurt, but they need to hear it. Lying to them when they absolutely really need you is only gonna hurt them and you in the long run. If they ask you if their partner is ugly, tell them the truth. Tell them what they want to hear because you don't want to get into a fight like what? What, you think they're ugly? If you could take anything away from this video, don't be a lying sack of shit. Just be a good person. God damn it. Tell the harsh truth when the situation calls for it. They might hate you, but in the long run, they will respect you. I think I've said enough. My name is Sebastian, aka Sabra92. Please consider subscribing and liking, and I am out. <laughs>